the don'ts of visiting Chicago. I enjoy checking out these videos and see what you should be doing in these states and stuff. So yeah, let's jump into this and check this out, man. Hey there, fellow travelers. Mark here with Walters World. Today, we're here in Chicago Millennium Park. We've got the bean behind us. And today, what we have for you are the don'ts of visiting Chicago. Oh, I think I've seen this before. And I, and I'm sure this was in like a different country. This is in Chicago. Chicago and this city is fantastic tons of great museums awesome people amazing food eh, weather eh, sometimes it's good sometimes it's bad but the thing is even in great cities like Chicago we got the things you want to do and we got the things you don't do so the first don't I have for you and probably the most important don't I have for you when you come to Chicago is don't drive and don't deal with the parking look Chicago what, traffic is, it busy? is horrible right all year round all day long all the time whether you're heading out to O'Hare the airport driving here downtown taking the interstate around the city driving is just chaotic here and the thing is the people are very wait how do you mainly get around there because uh every single american video i've seen it's like everyone drives everywhere very aggressive drivers too so it could be a little hair raisy <laughs> white knuckly when you are driving here in chicago right. so just have a heads up for that so if you can just just don't drive when you're here uh, and also going along with that don't deal with the parking oh my gosh Parking downtown Chicago is insane expensive. Somewhere between huh? college tuition. Bro, even if this is for the whole day, that's hella expensive. And a mortgage payment? I think that's where, where parking is here in Chicago. <laughs> so what I recommend is come in with the train, fly in, use public right. transport, whatever. Try not to drive when you are here. Oh, now okay. The, so like taxis, buses, and okay, whatnot, well, right. Thing is, if you are driving to Chicago and you got to park and stuff like that, get the parking at your hotel and just leave it. Use public transport, use Uber, use whatever. You can um. walk around the city easily because you don't want to have to get out, try to drive, find another place to park, play another insane expensive parking rate when you're there right just don't do that okay and that kind of leads into our second don't is don't worry about not driving because the cta the chicago transit authority actually has really good public transportation here in chicago i mean this is why right, so maybe chicago is like really good for like public transport then and just like the rest of like america is just yeah it's good for driving in busy places don't drive in everywhere else drive Let's skip out on the public transit oh yeah it really is. But right. public transportation should be in the US. They've got the L, the elevated train going around. That'll take you all over the place. All the right, bus cool. system here, awesome. And the thing is, it goes to pretty much every tourist place you want to go as a tourist. You can go there on public transportation. And what's nice. cool is actually the price for the public transportation here in Chicago is actually a fair price too. So it's really cool. So make sure you do use that public transportation when you are here. Now my next stone for you here in Chicago no is don't worry about being bored. This city is chock full of world class museums, right. festivals, concerts, all kinds of awesome stuff to do. You've got the Art Institute of Chicago, one of the best art museums in the world. You got the Shedd Aquarium, one of the top aquariums in the world. You got the Field Museum, one of the best natural history museums in the world. You got the Museum of Science and Industry, one of the best science museums in the world. You see where I'm going here? The right. Planetarium, there's all kinds of I'm seeing the theme. I'm seeing the theme. The best in the world. Great stuff here. Broadcast Museum. You got all kinds of great museums here. You don't like museums? That's fine. Hit the theater here. Pay a fraction of the price you pay in New York and see fantastic shows at the theaters here in Chicago. Oh, it's so cool. It just reminds me of like, like Batman games or movies and stuff. When I see this in the theater and stuff, yeah, really cool. Crown. Oh, you want to do stuff with your kids? Great. You got you got Great America. You can go to the amusement parks that are here. There's all kinds of amazing things to do here in Chicago. So you're never really bored when you're here because there's always something else to do. What else do we need to do? What's next? What's next? What's next? And if you come here in the summertime, I know I'm not here in the summertime right now, but you come in the summer, there's all kinds of great festivals going on when you're right. here. My personal favorite is the Taste of Chicago, which is right behind the camera Food? here. You go there and try different foods from oh. different restaurants throughout the city. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm going there. Taste of Chicago, hell yeah. It's a fantastic experience. So you've always got something to do. Whether you want to watch sports, yeah, you can watch the Bulls play. You can watch the Bears, the Cubs, the White Sox. Oh, you that's see cool. them. The Fire. I mean, there's so many sports to do. Watch, see things to do bike riding all kinds of stuff here believe me you will never be bored this is where spider-man swings around at night <laughs> when you're here in chicago oh yeah there's also great nightlife you know rush street or go party in wrigleyville yeah there's all kinds of stuff to do when you're here so don't worry about being bored okay cool. and the thing is a lot of people don't realize is when you're a tourist a lot of times you stay downtown or in the loop you know oh, i'm going to go to the magnificent mile then i'll stay in the loop i'll stay down in this area here what you don't realize is 
don't just stay in the loop in the downtown area. Let's go cool. out and explore. There's really cool suburbs to go check out. Go to the North Shore, go see Evanston, go head out and go to, you know, go to Gurney Yes and go to the Great America, stuff like that. The Lincoln Park Zoo, go out to Greek Town. There's all kinds of things you can see and do in the Chicago area that's not just in the loop because as a tourist, most of the time we're kind of down here in the loop in the downtown area kind of stuff, maybe a little bit north of there. I'm looking at this right here and can you actually go through this? on Michigan Avenue and we don't get out there and see things. So make sure you go out and explore and that public transportation will take you out there. Okay, you can grab a Metro train, hit some of the suburbs as well. So that is really kind of a cool thing. Um, another don't, I guess I should say, is so if you're going to be staying downtown. Yeah, I find it cool. I don't really like public transportation, but like if you've got a train that goes to all the good tourist destinations, that's handy. Which you probably will. Don't expect a lot going on after six or seven o'clock at night downtown because this is more of a work area. So people right. go home. So it's like a ghost town at night here and on the weekends. So do have a heads up for that. You know, keep your eyes open a little bit more in the evening time here. Cause honestly, you're down here one, maybe to go to a show at one of the theaters, maybe go out to eat, but there's not a lot of things going on here. Also, right, the okay. shops here downtown actually close earlier than the malls and the suburbs and stuff like that. So just have a heads up for that. So it's more of like a daytime kind of thing, right? Evening and then nighttime is nighttime will be get snacks and hotel. So kind of going on with that ghost town kind of feeling is sometimes you think ghost town. Oh, should I be worried? Well, that kind of leads into another don't I have for here in Chicago. Don't be lackadaisical with your safety here. Probably the most dangerous thing for a tourist though is when you cross the street because the drivers are a little nuts here and right, they're quite okay. aggressive. So do have a heads up when you're crossing the street. Don't just stand at the end or stand in the street. Bro, how aggressive are these drivers? <laughs> <laughs> when you're getting ready to go, make sure you're paying attention. That's one thing. Another thing, if you feel uncomfortable in any part, you, you don't feel right, go hop into a store or hop into a restaurant. It's okay, call a cab, call an Uber and, and, and head out. I mean, there are some parts of Chicago you don't want to go to. I'm sure in the comment section, you'll hear a lot of things down there. But what I'd recommend is ask your hotel, hey, we're looking to go here. Is it okay? Is that okay? Just ask them. And that's one thing you see right. anywhere in the world. There's good parts of town. There's bad parts of town. So do Yeah, to be fair, I do that wherever i go i always like when i go hard i always ask a section like what's the best places to go to uh and and most of the time they would like organize your taxi to get there and stuff they're really handy with that kind of stuff have a heads up for that and do ask where, where you should go or shouldn't go because the city is fantastic but there are issues you got to think about right always keep your Everywhere. eye out i mean some of the things might just annoy you it's not really a safety thing you'll have guys you know you'll have guys hey can i have a dollar can i have a dollar Man, just, all you gotta say, either give them a dollar and say, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, man, or just walk by. They won't give you really any trouble there, but do be smart when you are here in Chicago because there are parts of towns you shouldn't go to. And if you're not sure, aye, aye. I would ask your concierge, hey, this is where we're gonna go today. What do you think? Is that okay there? And they'll let you know. And I would really just say is use your usual travel sense. You know, if you're coming down here and where a lot of tourists are, yeah, keep your wallet in your front pocket and stuff like that. But oh, overall, yeah, 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 the typical common sense. But I think, I think everyone now knows to do that, right? Because of all the stories you hear across the whole world, like people get robbed everywhere, pickpocketed, whatever, right? You got to be careful wherever you go. Oh, I haven't had really any problems in Chicago, but I know there are problems, so do have a heads yeah. up. But honestly, this, the biggest safety thing for you as a tourist is crossing that street, okay? Now, another kind of- <laughs> Yo, these drivers must be mental, bro. Safety thing I have for you is, you no know, said sign behind me says caution ice. Look, don't mess around with the falling snow and falling ice. If you come here in the winter, it can be dangerous. You see Boy, the building up there with that slant? Yeah, the, the ice packs up, the snow packs up, it falls. It can be dangerous, so don't mess around with those. I know some tourists are like, oh, that's a cool picture. I want to get that. Do have a heads up with those. And, and I guess another don't, I'll kind of go along Wait, with that. Wait, what does he mean falling ice? What is he, what, like, comes off the building? Is, don't think you shouldn't visit Chicago in the winter. I'm here in the winter, and the thing oh, is, the cold. people in Chicago know that it's very cold and windy and snowy. It can be here in the wintertime in Chicago, and they have prepared the city for you. That means the museums, all the fantastic museums, the restaurants, all this stuff, you can have a great time inside when you're here so don't be scared for coming here in the winter months now i'm not going to say it's the best time to come because you come here in january with the wind and you're walking like this maybe you're not going to have as good of a time as you came here in the spring or the summer where you can hit the beaches and uh, yo you're teasing me with the taste of chicago 
I want it. Th this is where I, I just love food, man. I love food. Stuff like that, and go out on Lake Michigan and do an architectural boat tour and things like that. There's a, it's a oh, better that's what to come in the summer and spring than, but don't think you can't come in the winter time, okay? And speaking of some tour stuff, don't forget to do one of those architectural boat tours when you're here. Look, this is kind of what the home of the skyscraper, and you have amazing architecture throughout the city. I mean, I would say, don't forget to stretch your neck out before you come to Chicago because you're going to be looking up and seeing all these really cool skyscrapers. You know what? Being from the UK, this is really cool, though, because we don't have many big buildings at all. Unless you go to, like, uh, London, and you see a few, but it's not as crazy as this. No, not even close. It's really cool. All these really cool buildings. You know, the Tribune Tower, the Wrigley Building. Yes, the Sears Tower, or Willis Tower, however you spell it. Um, there's all kinds of... The Hancock Building going around. Oh, my gosh. There's so many fantastic buildings to take in and architecture to come in. And if you take that architectural boat tour on the oh, Chicago wow. River, it's really oh, cool. Because wow. they give you the history and the explanations of the buildings and the styles. And it really brings... Was that, was that a hotel as well? Was that a hotel? I can't read because of my eyes. Fantastic. No, I don't, I, I'm not even too sure, but... Fantastic yeah, buildings. It's really cool because they give you the history and the explanations of the buildings and the styles, and it really brings a lot more out. So when you walk around the city, you really get a lot more bang for your buck when you look at these fantastic buildings. Now, you notice I had a little problem saying Sears, Willis, Willis, Sears Tower. Look, my next uh, don't you is... Sears, Willis, Willis, Sears, Sears, building... Don't call it Willis Tower with the locals. Look, it's always going to be the Sears Tower. Now, Sears, if you uh, might not know this, it's actually spelled W-I-L-L-I-S Tower, but you pronounce... Wait, what's going on here? Why is, go Why is this missing the back part, but it looks like it's still rooms? <laughs> what is going on here? Pronounce it Sears Tower, okay? Just so you know. Now... <laughs> Okay, I mean, it's one of those things. It's changed names, okay? And the thing is, Sears what at Chicago people are gonna beat me up if I call it Willis Tower or Willis Tower was at one time the tallest building in the world, and they actually have an observation deck at the oh, top. Oh wow, you was can go it? See, it's probably one of the most popular pictures aside from the bean that I see from people when they go to Chicago. Right. But I'm gonna tell you something. If for going to the Willis slash Sears Tower, don't feel that you have to pay to go up and get a great view of the city, and that's the only place to get it. What I recommend, go to the Hancock building, 96th floor, there's a bar there. It's free to go up and oh, you have free that, views of this beautiful- That would be so nice. 96th floor is up and a bar to see all the views. Oh, that'd be really cool. Beautiful city. But also what's cool is the drinks up there are actually pretty fairly priced. So why not head to the Hancock, go up the 96th floor, hit the bar there, have a great drink that while you look good. at this great city. That's a much better way to spend your money that you'd spend going up to the top of the Sears slash Willis Tower. Spend that on a drink in the right. Hancock building. That, that's what I would recommend. Now, some other tourist things you should know about. One thing is, if you're gonna go to Navy Pier, which is a very much a tourist place, realize, don't expect to see locals at Navy Pier. Navy Pier is, I mean, it's really developed for tourists, and it's nice for tourists to go to. Is Navy Pier a pier for the Navy? <laughs> I go there because I'm a tourist. I'm not from Chicago. I enjoy that. But the locals will tell you, oh, that's a tourist thing. So don't expect to see the locals. There. Right. Another thing I guess I should say about the locals, don't expect to hear that Chicago accent. You know, you saw on TV back in the day, oh, like sausage in Chicago. Really? Double bears, doubles. People don't talk like that here anymore, okay? Yes, you'll find a what few a people that do occasionally. But in general, the Chicago accent, sadly, has kind of died off. So you're not going to hear that when you're here. Another don't with the people here. Don't trust everyone that tells you they're from Chicago. Because most likely, they're from the suburbs. Actually, right. Chicago, the city proper, is actually relatively small. And most of the people in the Chicago metro... Yeah, but the thing is, I don't think I'm going to be talking to someone. And they're going to be like, yo, I'm from Chicago. And I'm like, oh, hell no, you, you in. You're from the suburbs, man. Bro, I, I want to get in a fight. Politan area live out in the suburbs. So that person you meet that says, oh, yeah, I'm from Chicago. They might be from Evanston. Or they might be from Naperville or Arlington Heights or Tinley Park or wherever. And the Turf thing is, wars. if you have people that are from real Chicago, like they're born here in Chicago, they grew up in Chicago, in Chicago, Chicago, they will call out those people every single day. Oh, really? What's true with you? Where'd you grow up? Which school did you go oh, to? Really? Oh, really? Is that what Oh, you mean you're from Naperville. Oh, right. So you're not really from Chicago. You're from the birds, okay? <laughs> so that's sort of a little fun thing you'll see with the locals here. Now, another thing tourists love to do when they travel is eat. And yeah, I'm, I know what I'm doing when I go to Chicago. I'm going to walk into a bar. I'm going to stand out. I'm going to scream, 
Who here is from Chicago? And then just see them go at it. Chicago is no exception to those eating cities. And my don't for that is don't, don't, Ooh. don't, don't come to Chicago on a diet. Oh, they yeah. love huge portion sizes. They Bro, don't go to America on a diet. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, all the videos I've seen, the food is so good. Do not go to America on a diet. Love their food. They love their meat. They love their everything here. And you're going to eat a lot when you're here. Good. I mean, the deep dish pizza here, the Chicago style deep dish pizza. Yeah, it's like this thick. And you will just be oh so full. And the thing is, there's so many great Pop restaurants here. It's not just the deep dish pizza and the Chicago hot dog. No, oh. there's so much more here. Go to Bro, look at this. One bite and everything's falling. But that's good to just scoop it up. Greek town, oh. I have amazing Greek food. Little Italy, there's great Me there's great Mexican food here. I have some great Polish food, German food. There's so many different nationalities and ethnicities here in Chicago, and they've brought what their food that? here. So you have amazing food when you're here. So don't come on a diet. Just is that like pulled pork? They don't kind of look like the pulled pork that I eat though. And then this is like, this is like some, uh, like some pip pickle sauce. <laughs> Just go and enjoy everything, all right? Now, I do have a couple don'ts for some traditional Chicago things. One, if you get the uh, the deep dish pizza here in Chicago, right. don't think you can finish the pizza yourself. Right. I know a lot of people go, oh, I get a pan pizza from Pizza Hut. I get a medium and finish it myself. Oh, no, 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 no. That, that's like the tiny baby little tiny brother versus the Chicago style deep dish pizza. This stuff, I'm talking like, I can barely finish two slices. That's oh, wow. how what? thick and big it is with all the meat and cheese and then the right. sauce on top and the really thick crust. I mean, it will really fill you up. I had some last night and I was smart. I got the individual size. The guy next to me, he was a tourist from England. He's like, oh, I'll get a small. That's what I get at Pizza Hut at home. I'm like, dude, get the individual. He's like, no, no, I'll get it. <laughs> and he sat there. He got through two and maybe a half pieces and didn't eat the end of him. And he's like, uh, I can't eat anymore. I'm like, I told you. <laughs> and so do have a heads up for that. I I'll don't take it. Get the individual. Also, don't be surprised if it takes them about 45 minutes to cook that deep dish pizza because it takes a while to be there. Also, right. don't let them talk you into getting appetizers. It's going to be enough food anyway when you get the pizza, okay? So instead of ordering food appetizers, just drink some of the good Chicago beer when you're here. Revolution Brewery, Two Brothers Brewery. Um, maybe get some Goose Island when you're here. I mean, a 312 is always good with pizza. So do have that. Another don't with the food. Guy. If you get that Chicago dog, you know, people always say, well, don't put ketchup on your Chicago oh. dog. Oh, you know what? I actually wouldn't get this. And if anyone's from Chicago is watching, I'm sorry, right? But I love hot dogs. But, like, I kind of prefer the American style, like, where you put meat on it and stuff, like pulled pork or chili or whatever. This is, like, I don't understand why the pickle is so big. Gherkin, right? It's just, like, maybe if it was chopped up, I'd actually prefer it. But, like, even this piece here, like, they're just, for me, they're just a bit too big and a bit too chunky. I prefer, like, kind of, like, chopped up things. So, yeah, if this was chopped up, sure, it'd probably be really nice. But, mm, it's I'd true. Have to it's try got it, so though. much other stuff on there, it doesn't need it. I mean, it's got pickles and, yeah. and, and relish and tomatoes and mustard and, and like sweet jalapenos, like kind of things on top. It's so good. And it's got so many other flavors that it mix perfectly I'll together try that you don't need the ketchup. So, don't it probably worry would about be nice. that. One of the great things about Chicago is actually it has something for everybody. Whether you like culture, whether you like food, whether you like sports, whether you like art, there's all kinds of stuff for everybody. So what I want to say is don't forget to bring the whole family when you come here to Chicago because right. they have stuff <laughs> don't leave for the everybody. Yes, you can do the amusement parks like Great American, stuff like that. Or you can do the Art Institute or the Sci Museum of Science Industry. My kids My love it every ride. time we go there. We spend an entire day there. And that's what's so cool. You know what, actually, I said that's my kind of ride. I'm scared of rides, right? This Every ride? Time we go, there, Yo, that's going a bit too quick. Day there. And that's, that's what's so be... cool about Chicago. The people are friendly. They're cool with the kids being here. There's stuff for them all the time. So don't think this is just a romantic getaway place. This is actually a really cool place for the whole family to come cool. to, okay? And, and speaking of places you should go with a family, or maybe not with a family, it's up to you. Go into a game at Wrigley. And I would say, don't think baseball's too boring to go to a game at Wrigley Field. I feel like as a tourist, you have to, right? So, like, I've never really watched baseball or football, your guys' football. But um, go to America and stuff, you definitely have to go to the games. Like, you definitely do. I've seen, like, clips of stuff. 
and the food looks good, the drink looks good, the experience, like you, you definitely gotta go. For those who don't know, baseball is a very popular sport here in the US, but a lot of people that don't know it think it's pretty boring. And actually people that actually know baseball think it's kind of boring sometimes. <laughs> but the thing is going to a game at Wrigley to see experience. the Chicago Cubs is like the quintessential, I know it's my favorite word in these videos, quintessential Chicago sports visit, okay? Right. The whole area, it's called Wrigleyville. There's tons of bars, restaurants, all kinds of stuff. It's like, it should be called Partyville because before the game, uh, during sick. the game, and after the games, they have party time, okay? And That's you're drinking cool. your beers and having your fun and going to watch the Cubs play. And what's cool as a tourist, the Cubs play during the day a lot of times. In the summer, they have 81 home games, okay? Most of them are during oh, the wow. day. So you can see some sights during the day. Then the afternoon, go head out to a game, take it in. Sitting in the bleachers is the must. And but have a party. Don't think that there's assigned seats in the bleachers. You just kind of go where you want to go. Yes, you buy overpriced beer, but it's such a great experience to go to the game that really don't pass it up if you have a chance here in Chicago. You definitely have to do that. You can't not. You can't go here and not do okay. that. Okay. Um, another don't I have for you has to do with the airport. Look, there's there's O'Hare and there's Midway here. Um, O'Hare is probably the airport you're probably going to fly into or out of. And my my don't for you is don't mess with O'Hare. Look. If you've got a flight out and they say be there two hours early, be there two hours early. Okay? Right. They say be there three hours early, be there three hours early. Because O'Hare is infamous for sometimes long check-in lines, long security oh. checkpoints, stuff like that. Now and you it can take a off. long time. And I know a lot of people that have missed. Bro, I absolutely hate airports and like oh i wish it could just teleport everywhere man twice because they didn't get through security fast enough so don't mess around with o'hare and right. if you're flying in internationally and you're transferring through chicago you'll fly into terminal five and then you got to take the train to one of the other terminals the thing is when you do that you go out and the train is outside security so you have to go on that and then go back through security again to get back in the other terminal so i'm do have a heads up for that it will take you some time so don't <laughs> mess around what? with O'Hara. You gotta take Tracy. How big is this airport? Okay. <laughs> A couple more downs for you. When you are going around Chicago, don't expect to find a lot of public toilets. You'll see a lot of restaurants and places will say no, no free public toilet or something like that. So you might need to grab a drink or something for to use their bathrooms. Another don't I have for you, if you're gonna All take right, the metro okay. out to the suburbs, don't forget to pick up your ticket at the ticket station before you get on the metro because you can buy the tickets on the metro, but they do charge you like five bucks more. Right. So if you're gonna go out there, save the five bucks, don't forget to pick up the ticket before you get on. All right, so, cool. Just a couple other ones I want to put in. We'll go back to the pretty bean for some more stuff. And my last don't for you here in Chicago is don't pass up the second city. Look, Chicago huh? should be the first city you want to visit when you come to the U.S. because of the culture, because of the sports, because of the festivals, because of the awesome people. You will love Chicago, the Midwest feel here, the friendly people, the fun stuff to do. I've always said don't pass up Chicago's second city. It just means like... Don't pass up on Chicago, right? It really is a fantastic city to visit. That's why when you talk to people that come to the US, you'll see an inordinate amount of people say, I really love Chicago right. because this city rocks, okay? So true? I hope this helps you know a bit more about Chicago so you're more prepared when you do come here. We have some other videos. I have some really, really old videos from being here, but also some more recent ones like five things you should eat when you come here and other things like that to help you out. Oh, that'd also, be a good if you video. want some other don'ts, maybe the Dude. don'ts of visiting the US or the don'ts of the Midwest, check us out on our website at waltersworld.com right, cool. or also on Twitter, Facebook. That was a good video. I enjoyed that. If you guys are from Chicago, let me know in the comment section. If you guys have ever been there, let me know as well. Let me know what you think I'll need to know. What kind of places is really good to see if he's missed any out. Yeah, really good video. I enjoyed that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Subscribe for more content. I'm live every single day on Twitch.tv forward slash If you guys want to check me out over there. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.